Sherry on the inside, Young Yang on the outside, finally he has to give way and Flint Shering through into position, now out onto the pitch, Vantage, he keeps the power on around the outside, car number three, making uh, his set to the ground, he's going well to wheel with Sam Young Yang, both young chargers in this series racing together for position, there is Glenn Van Par Rice who will have to visit the pitch, they come through, absolutely neck in neck towards turn four, Magnus just has it, now in front, but shooting can't get it slowed down. The uh, turn nine, and out towards the pit straight, Robert Dehan out towards turn ten, any second now, he hits the accelerator, and finally, we are go at Red Bull Ring, race 12, Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux, through the mist and through the rain, Robert Dehan Felix Felbermeyer in a solid second place. Everybody driving with the fingertips. Tim turning around the corner. Looks like everybody's made it around turn one. Good job there. I think we might have lost Cedric Chasseng uh, on our drive tracker. Looks like he might still be in the pits. But here comes Robert Dehaan. Now the challenge towards Felix Felbermeyer. I think he's gone spinning. There may have been some contact for Glenn Van Parijs. Zedduck shooting who's gone straight on it. Yes, he keeps the power. Felix Falbermeyer pointing in the wrong direction. Robert Dehaan leading the way. I think it's Glenn Van Parijs. We look through the mist, who is in second place. And uh, Gilles Magnus there as well. And it is the uh, Zakhar Slutsky car ahead of Sam Yongian behind. So the driver's doing a great job. It's such a shame we've lost horse Felix Falbermeyer. But look at Zakhar Slutsky coming through. Mastering these conditions.
of this race remaining. Sam Yogyan alongside Flynn Schuring, the two drivers running side by side. To remind you, Sam Yogyan has not driven Porsches before this weekend. He has taken to it like the duck to water, how appropriate is that? The back end switches, Flynn Schuring though, sees his opportunity. He sees a gap on the inside. The two cars run side by side in towards turn nine. It's Schuring on the inside, Yogyan on the outside.
Tim Slutsky in number 22. The two cars running side by side and uh, identical in lap times, identical in every other way as well. Pure entertainment here in uh, Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux at the Red Bull Ring. So they continue out towards turn nine. Dirk Schutten making good progress, but behind him, this is a great fight from the Slutsky brothers. But look at Dirk Schutten who has caught up with uh, Robin Knudsen ahead of him and onto the pit straight. We come once again, six and three quarters, a minute remaining of this race. Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux 2023 style. It is Robin Dahan who is leading 10.4 seconds ahead of Flint Schering, a mature drive. Anybody who keeps it on the track and brings it home is uh, going to be a winner in my book. Car 22, a drive-through penalty. Such a shame. Artem Shulutsky, after a great start to the race and a drive-through penalty for causing a collision. So one of those blue and white cars will have to visit to be pit lane. The one that is uh, in the second place in that particular fight. Here comes Shield Magnus once again in the 92 car. A more experienced driver, but Robin Nelson goes to the inside, under braking in turn four. Can he slow it down enough? He goes deep into the corner. Magnus tries to come back at him on the inside. Dirk Schutter there as well, ready to pounce if these two get together. Running side by side in these conditions. Such brave driving. Magnus now to the inside of Nelson. Nelson has the advantage. He keeps the power on around the outside. Car number three making uh, his second appearance of the year in Porsche. Of the Artem Slutsky drive through penalty, which is now converted to a 30 second time penalty. A Glenn Van Parijs is in 14th place, we saw him serve that drive through penalty earlier on. And now Jill Magnus coming under pressure from Dirk Schutten into turn 10. And they come. Great racing here. This is a for sixth place out of 10 through the mist and the murk and the rain, keeping the cars on the track. Still driving Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux, the last five minutes of the season, plus one lap, and its champion elect, the provisional champion, Robert Dahan, who leads the way, but the fighting continues all the way back. This is for sixth place. Gilles Magnus with his mirrors full of Dirk Schutten. Now there are some discussions going on on the pit wall. There we go, to the inside, Gilles Magnus, Dirk Schutten on the outside, out of turn three, now it's the drag to all the way to turn four. Dirk Schutten will need to be pretty clever on the brakes here, he'll want to get it slowed down and power around the outside, because this is going to be a right-hand turn. They come through, absolutely neck and neck, towards turn four. Magnus just has it, now in front, but Schutten can't get it slowed down. Into the gravel track he goes, keep the power on, come on, you can do it. Into the runoff area, out onto the track, but he's lost a whole load of places. He who dares wins. He came so close, but it was Jules Magnus who wins that particular battle. Keeps the power on, doesn't even back off. Grass track racing, anybody? Here we go. Dirk Schutten, though, no chance of a certainly no chance of a podium and a long way back. And uh, yeah, okay, well, we all fancy a bit of grass track, I should think. Uh, I'll make some cruise there where that has been, but he finally rejoins. Let's have another look here. Such a brave move on the outside. He just could not get it slowed down. He had the anchors out, he was stepping his feet on the ground, but it wasn't going to happen. And the car in to the gravel. And it is the experience of Gilles Magnus that finally wins out in this situation. But to the very vocal Dirk Schutten fan club, they will be applauding because he who dares wins. And if he doesn't win, well, he gave it a flipping good try, didn't he? So, uh, we continue with a little over three minutes remaining of this race. Now, Aaron Mason...
just ahead. Artem Slutsky behind, made that in front, despite the time penalty that's going to be added. They're racing for glory here, side by side, around the Red Bull ring. But Robert Dehaan is the man at the front, Flick showing in second, Sam Yongyan on his debut in Porsche Racing in third place, ahead of Sam Dionga and Robin Nutson. There is your race leader. There is the driver who provisionally is the champion of 2023. Now, as the clock strikes zero, he's heading up to turn three. So it'll be the remains of this lap, and then one final lap after that. What a way to finish off your championship year. Robert DeHaan has taken no prisoners. Flint Schering, the driver who has got better and better. He started at pole position at Hockenheim, was unable to finish. He had a second place at Zandvoort. He's had a couple of third places, had three third places. In fact, one of them was yesterday. Uh, but a second place again will be a great reward for what has been a really good season from Flint Schering as he makes his debut in Porsche Carrera Cup. Benelux. The rest of the cars fighting hard through, through the mist, that's Dirk Schuten. He's coming back, he's in 12th place at the moment after that little excursion. And look who's with him, Horst Felix Felbermeyer. He went to the back of the pack, having been spun around at the start of this race. He has mastered these wet conditions on his home circuit. He has fought his way forwards, and now he and Dirk Schuten are fighting for position. Okay, it's not a pony position, but still great racing. 14th place is what they are fighting for at the moment. And uh, Dirk Schuten doing all that he can to keep the 88 car behind. There's Glenn Van Rice as well. He had that drive through penalty as a result of a collision with the blue car who's currently in front of him. We're on to the final lap of the race. Those who waited were rewarded. We finally got there. The final lap for Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux and it is Robert Dehaan who leads the way 10.3 seconds a dominant crushing display of driving as he leads away around turn three for the very last time in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux 2023 Venturing some 10.3 seconds behind but now we look at the driver who provisionally is the new champion who succeeds Harry King the champion of Porsche Crown and Benelux into turn four. He just needs to keep it on the track and he will celebrate what is his championship year with a win and a top step of the podium. Flint Shuri keeping it solid in second place. Don't do anything stupid. Don't chuck it off the road. Sam Yong Yang, we said look out for him. Third place, he just needs to bring that home. He's 6.8 seconds back from Flint Shuri. And then Sandy Yonga just 1.4 seconds back from Sam Yonyang. So, here is Robert Dihard in towards turn nine for the very last time. The Parisian champion of Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux 2023 is going to cap off his tier in style with a win at the Red Bull Ring. Robert Dihard wins the race. Racing, a dominant drive in such tricky conditions. We wait for second place, Flint Schering across the line in second place. A great drive from him. And now we wait for the next car to come across the line. Is it going to be Sam Yogian who comes across the line? Yes, it is. A podium on his debut in Porsche Racing. To remind you, this time last week, he never even driven one of these cars.